This has to be the most disturbing update yet because new scientific data just revealed that 3i Atlas is releasing a weird ratio of chemicals from opposite sides like it has two completely different faces. Also, NASA just changed the previous acceleration calculations, only days after Harvard scientist Avi Loeb sent them an email about the object's anomalous path to Jupiter. But now Loeb is saying that NASA is completely wrong in their updated calculations. So, in this video, I'll break down what is actually happening with 3i Atlas and why it keeps making scientists question the true nature of this interstellar comet. So astronomers have been trying for months to figure out what 3i Atlas is actually made of and what chemicals are coming off of it. Well, the data just came back from the ALMA radio telescope, and this thing detects the exact molecules floating in space. ALMA found two specific chemicals coming from 3i Atlas, methanol and hydrogen cyanide. Now, finding these two molecules in space is totally normal. Methanol and hydrogen cyanide are common chemicals in comets. We expect to find them, but the first part of what's weird about this is the ratio. ALMA just revealed that at first the ratio was 124 to 1. Three days later, it was 79 to 1. Now, here's why that's absolutely wild. In normal comets, the methanol to hydrogen cyanide ratio sits around 10 to 1, maybe 20 to 1 at most. Out of thousands of comets scientists have studied, only one has ever shown a ratio this extreme. A comet called C2016 R2 Panstars. That thing had a ratio around 100 to 1, and scientists consider it a total freak of nature. They still have no idea why its chemistry was so weird. And now 3i Atlas is showing the similar unusual ratio. Except C2016 R2 formed in our solar system. 3i Atlas formed in a completely different star system light years away. So we have two objects with freakish chemistry and they both somehow ended up with nearly identical ratios despite forming in totally different parts of the galaxy. But ALMA did not just measure how much of each chemical there is, it actually found where on the comet these molecules are coming from. And this is where everything gets really weird. Methanol is concentrated on the sunward hemisphere. So the side of the comet facing the sun is blasting out methanol at way higher rates than the other side. But the hydrogen cyanide is doing the exact opposite. It is concentrated on the side pointing away from the sun. So we're not looking at a uniform ball of ice that is the same all the way through. This is an object where one half has completely different ice composition than the other half. It's like someone took two totally different comets and glued them together. This is the first time scientists observe an object from another star system in enough detail to see this kind of chemical separation. Now we have seen some solar system comets with active regions on different parts of the surface, but those are just pockets of ice that happen to face the sun at certain times during a comet's rotation. 3i Atlas is different. This is an entire hemisphere showing one chemistry and the opposite hemisphere showing completely different chemistry. Before we talk about the two possible explanations for this anomaly and NASA's non-gravitational acceleration change, I want to remind you that 2025 is almost over and we're falling into the same trap of waiting for January 1st to start something new or learn a new skill. But the truth is that you don't need a new year to make a new start. AI was one of the most in-demand skills of 2025, according to the World Economic Forum. Yet most of us didn't learn it. And that puts us at disadvantage of, of not just of falling behind, but of being replaced. You still have 45 days to learn AI and step into 2026 as a more skilled, smarter, and employable individual. So I want to tell you about the two-day live AI mastermind training by OutSkill the world's first AI-focused educational platform happening this Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. EST on both days. And the timing is perfect because they have their year-end holiday offer going on so you can get in absolutely for free instead of the usual $395. Outskill is rated 4.9 out of 5 on Trustpilot, and this 16-hour live experience by them has been attended by more than 10 million worldwide professionals across fields like marketing, finance, engineering, and data, mentored directly by AI experts from companies like Microsoft and NVIDIA. And the best part is that this training is not just about learning tools, but about changing the way you work completely, because you can learn how to use AI to simplify your daily tasks. 
Build AI agents that plan, create, and automate your workflows. Design AI automations that connect tools like Sheets, Notion, and CRMs to save hours. Gain ready-to-use AI systems for your job, business, or freelance projects. But just learning those skills is not enough. The most important part is knowing how to monetize them. Plenty of OutSkills learners have launched successful AI-powered businesses. And not only that, but OutSkill is offering free access to products, including a prompt Bible, a roadmap to monetize AI, and a personalized AI toolkit builder, only if you attend both Saturday and Sunday. This Christmas, gift this opportunity to someone who you think could benefit from learning AI, as it could change their career in 2026. Seats are limited, so grab yours now with the link in the description. Join the WhatsApp community to stay updated before the big blast. So there's two possible explanations for this chemical anomaly. The first theory is that 3I Atlas formed in a region of its home solar system where different types of ice were layering on top of each other. So maybe one side has peeled off more layers as it's been traveling for billions of years. But this explanation makes no sense because comets are constantly spinning as they're flying through space. The second possible explanation is that cosmic rays are the reason for this anomaly. Cosmic rays are tiny particles constantly flying through interstellar space. Maybe those particles hit one side more than the other and changed the chemistry. But again, that would require the object to maintain the same orientation for an extremely long time, which is basically impossible because Shri I Atlas makes a full spin every 16 hours. So as of right now, no scientist has come out and explained this anomaly. And even though I disagree with Harvard scientist Avi Loeb's theory about this object being technological, I actually respect him a lot for being probably the only one who's actively trying to explore the anomalies of 3i Atlas. So a few days ago, based on 3i Atlas's non-gravitational acceleration, Loeb calculated where 3i Atlas will be on March 16th, 2026. The distance matched with Jupiter's hill radius, which is basically the gravitational sweet spot around Jupiter, where objects can orbit without being pulled by the sun's gravity. He calculated the probability of hitting that spot randomly is about one in 25,000. Now Loeb's theory is that this object could be technological instead of natural, and that um, if it is then reaching Jupiter's hill, that is exactly where you would want to release satellites. So he sent an email to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory pointing this out, but he got no response. Then within a couple days, NASA changed the numbers on their website. They switched their physics model for measuring the non-gravitational acceleration, and they cut the acceleration by 83%. NASA is now saying 3i Atlas will pass Jupiter outside the hill radius, so the coincidence disappeared. But Loeb is now saying that NASA's new model is wrong, and here's why. Scientists measured how bright 3i Atlas got as it approached the sun, the brightness data shows it was brightening at an extremely steep rate, way steeper than what NASA's new model is based on. Loeb says that if you use a model that actually matches the brightness observations, then the acceleration near the sun would be stronger than NASA is calculating, and that would push the Jupiter flyby distance back closer to the hill radius. All of this playing out is raising important questions for a lot of people in the astronomy community. Let me know your thoughts and theories in the comments and drop me a like and hype if you appreciate my effort.